Hi, I'm Tom. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Wi-Fi network settings of your new surfboard cable modem and Wi-Fi router. Keep in mind, this information will work for the models listed here. Some of our older products have slightly different configuration steps. I'm going to get started using the SPG 6900. First, launch a web browser. In the URL, type in the IP address 192.168.0.1 and press enter. It will take you to a login screen for the web manager where you will type the username, which is admin, the password, which is password, and then click log on. That will launch the ARIS web manager page. We're going to focus on the quick start wizard by clicking right here. The quick start wizard will help customize some of the basic Wi-Fi settings of the SBG 6900. You can follow the prompts, click on the next icon, and here we have an option to change the network name of our Wi-Fi network. And we're going to give it the name ARIS Wi-Fi. We're going to change the passphrase to surfboard. I'm going to click the next button. And now it confirms that the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks have been changed to ARIS Wi-Fi and ARIS Wi-Fi 5G to help differentiate between the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz frequency ranges. I'm going to click the next button and it will take me to a Wi-Fi security configuration. And here I will have an opportunity to establish my security settings for the device. Now, when we first logged in, the default username was admin and the default password was password. Here, I have an opportunity to change that so that only I will be able to log into the network. The network name I'm going to use for it is Tom22. I'm going to confirm that, Tom22. I'm going to change the password to Mustang. I have to type, type that twice. Then I click on the next button in the bottom right hand corner. And then step six out of seven is that it wants me to review my settings that I just changed. So the new 2.4 gigahertz network name is ARIS Wi-Fi. The new 5 gigahertz network name is ARIS Wi-Fi 5G. The passphrase has been changed to surfboard and my security mode is set as WPA2-PSK. I click on the apply button. Goes through saving my settings. And remember, do not turn off the SBG6900 or close this window while it's saving the settings. I then click on the exit button and it takes me back to the home page of the configuration window for the SPG 6900. From here, the next step is that I'm going to manage my guest network. On this page, I have several different options. Number one, I want to select a guest network. And right now, it's listed as the SPG 6900 AC underscore guest and it's disabled. So I'm going to enable my Wi-Fi guest access. I'm going to make that enabled. And right now I have this as guest network name, SBG 6900 AC guest, but I can change that or leave it as it is. For this purpose, we're going to leave it as it's listed. The other thing that I'm going to do is change my wireless security all the way down at the bottom. So I'm, right now it's defaulted to be uncrypt, encrypted. I'm going to make that encrypted and change the wireless security to WPA2-PSK. Now when I do that, I will be prompted for a new passphrase. Now for this passphrase, I'm going to keep it simple and consistent. I'm going to make it surfboard guest. And if you're unsure of what it is, you can also click on the show passphrase and you'll see that I have surfboard with a capital S and guest with a capital G, all one word. 
I click on the apply button, give the unit a second to apply those settings, and then I can review them. SBG 6900 guest, wireless security has been enabled, my passphrase is surfboard guest, and I am done. If I want to do the same thing, I can also change, and now I just changed the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, but I can also change the 5 gigahertz frequency range. Right now it's disabled. I can do the same steps. I can enable it. It's surfboard SBG 6900 AC guest again. I'm going to change my wireless security to WPA2. And now I'm going to give it the same password, surfboard guest. Click apply, review, and now we're done. Once completed, I can go back to the home button, and then I simply click on the logout button, and it will take me back to the login screen. For additional information, please visit our website. Thank you for joining me.